Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and we're going to talk about a showery, kind of thunder showery day today, and then a showery Friday into Friday night, and some of Saturday. I'll show you when the rain comes to an end on the weekend, and we'll take a look at all kinds of good stuff. So here we go. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the radar, and indeed, it is a, a showery morning. And uh, hey, good morning, Chad Douglas from Shepherd. And good morning, Mark Swanson from Clio. Good morning. Uh, so showers uh, will be increasing. And as you look back to the southwest and Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, that's the wave of rainfall that will feed up along that frontal system. And indeed, it is kind of a dreary day on the way. My wife looked out the window. She said, oh, another dreary one. And I said, yeah, we're getting to that dark time of year. Hey, good morning, Marcus Ambrosi. Okay, so what's going to happen with the rainfall? So let's look at first the short-term model, and it'll show you showers this morning. So this is 10, 11, noon, 1, 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock, it wants to develop a line of thunder showers from Saginaw Bay, Saginaw Bay City, Midland, uh, down through the Lansing area. And then as we go through the second half of the afternoon into the evening, 5 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock, it shifts into the southeast corner of the state, Detroit Ann Arbor region. And it kind of hangs around in the evening hours because that frontal system is going to stop there. And that's what's the guiding string, so to speak, for the next uh, wave of moisture along it. And you'll see that here on the NAM, which goes out farther. Look what it does, three o'clock this afternoon. Same kind of idea. Line of showers and thunderstorms developing Saginaw Bay down to Lansing and then shifting east during the evening hours. So prior to that, Ann Arbor, Detroit, uh, Flint, all that southeast, you have a real nice day coming with warm temperatures. Now we're in the middle of the night tonight and then we go back to Friday. This is 11 and noon and 1 and 2 in the afternoon. And the afternoon looks wet. And this model even wants to bring a second area of rain up through northern Michigan and the UP. This is the middle of the night, Friday night, early Saturday morning. And we're going to 7 o'clock Saturday morning. And we're going to 10, 11, noon, 1, 2. Um, so I think you better plan on showers still Saturday morning, but to get a better feel, then we go to the European model. Um, hey, good morning, Monica Hadley from Vassar. So let's go to the European model. And you're seeing six hour increments of rainfall here. So this is this afternoon. This is this afternoon into this evening and overnight, and then tomorrow. So this is tomorrow morning into early afternoon. Yes, C.J. Galt, Swartz Creek is a beautiful area. So this is Friday afternoon into Friday evening, and it's wet. Uh, Saginaw, the Thumb, Flint, and especially Oakland County and Ann Arbor, and Detroit in the eastern part of the thumb. Uh, this is the middle of the night, Friday night. This is Friday night. This is this is Saturday morning to Saturday early afternoon. A lot of folks have been asking about this time period. So I think you still have some showers left in the thumb. You still have some light showers left in Flint and Ann Arbor and Detroit. You might have some lake effect showers developing from all the west coast, from Charlevoix to Petoskey, the Traverse City area. Manistee, uh, not big soakers, but a cool showers. And then as we go into the afternoon on Saturday, dries out for the southern two-thirds, lake effect rain showers still for the northern sections. And that should be gone by Sunday. So Sunday looks like a very nice day. This is Sunday afternoon and evening. Anita Grimm, I know it, we are in a quite a wet pattern. Um, now, if Monday looks fantastic, Tuesday, you know, if I could target a day where maybe northern Michigan, northern lower Michigan would be a uh, peak, then 
you're probably looking at early next week. Adam Hunt, how's the wind looking for weekend for hunting? Let's go back for Adam and check that out. Okay, so this is Saturday afternoon. You got one, two, three, four, five isobars in lower Michigan. Let's call it four. That's a 20 mile an hour gust out of the northwest uh, Saturday afternoon. Same deal in the morning. Uh, let's go to evening, about the same northwest wind dying down. And then let's go to Sunday for you. And it's still a northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So northwest winds generally through the weekend. This is Monday and Tuesday look great. Uh, Wednesday afternoon and evening, bursts of little showers come through. Cooler temperatures indicated by the European deterministic run. But the ensemble average of all of the iterations of it still shows us staying warmer than normal. Hey, Walt Mellon from Swartz Creek. Good morning to you. How much rain? And thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. It's meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. How much rain? This is into Friday evening. And Detroit and Ann Arbor, you got a soaker coming. And, and Lansing, or not Lansing so much, but uh, Jackson and Monroe, you got a one to two inch rain on the way. Northwest of that, you've got a half inch to inch. Grand Rapids and Lansing, Saginaw Bay City, Midland and the Thumb. All right, we go in through Saturday. And the showers in the north start to add up. At Traverse City, a half inch, and maybe some spots over a half inch in those lake effect. Well, I guess we gotta we know them as snow belts, but lake effect belts up in the northwest. Temperatures today almost 80 degrees. Ann Arbor and Detroit, and 74 in Saginaw, and 69 in Grand Rapids, and 67 in Traverse City. And then tomorrow with the clouds and the rain around, it's only in the upper 50s in the south. Elsewhere, it's in the mid-60s, low 60s. Saturday's cooler. Northwesterly wind, clouds, drizzle. Hey, Herbert Gibson Jr. and Saginaw. Good morning to fellow Sag Saginaians? Sa Saginites? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Sunday. About 60 degrees, fallish. Monday in the mid-60s, Tuesday mid to upper 60s, Wednesday in the 60s. Now this deterministic mode again, remember, brings cooler air in late in the week next week. Um, but a lot of the others show that that's not going to happen. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see on that. But prior to that, it looks like we have some fairly mild weather because remember, every day that we stay in the 60s, our average, our long-term average high is going down and it's eventually here in the next week going to get into the upper 50s. So when you're looking at 65, you're eight degrees warmer than normal or so and uh, quite mild. Do I see anything that's really bizarre hot for this time of the year? Not just yet, but... We'll keep an eye on it. Friday night football in the Tri-Cities, Brian Campbell. You're probably looking at uh, showers. Uh, probably not anything real substantial, but you could be wet out there. You could be on the chilly side, too, with temperatures maybe in the upper 50, something we're not used to. There it is. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.